Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you guys. What's the energy coming towards you today? I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. And also that way you'll, I'll be able to pull on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, these are general readings. Take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. Don't go try to make this fit into your life. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me what it is that I need to see. What's the energy surrounding Virgo? What's the energy surrounding Virgo? me okay so first out we have bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude so it's like you're gonna have to stand firm show somebody that you're strong is giving me an energy of someone like trying to get you to bend your knee bend your will do something that you wouldn't normally do it's like someone that's going to nag you until you just give in. But it's all about you showing fortitude. It's all about you showing fortitude. Happiness. There's joy around you. We have lobster, financial pinch. Some of you guys may be feeling some type of financial pinch right now, especially with the holidays coming and everything. You could definitely be feeling some type of financial pinch. It says back something important, such as a new job or a raise. But that is going to be rectified. Some you have some you some of you guys you have some financial windfall or some something coming your way. You could be getting a raise or a new job. Whereas it's gonna like it's gonna relieve this financial pinch is what I'm getting here in this energy. And I do see that you're gonna be happy. I do see that it's gonna bring you some happiness. Some it's gonna bring you some peace is what I'm getting. It's definitely going to bring you some type of peace because you've been, some of you guys, you've been struggling and not knowing what's, what's going on. Show me. What's the energy surrounding Virgo? What's the energy surrounding Virgo? Trickery. Faith. grief hmm bottom of the deck we have instinct you know you know exactly who this is as I say this to you you know exactly who this is that you can't trust somebody's bringing grief into your life you're trying to maintain some type of fate that all will be well, but there's some trickery. There's some grief happening right now. There's someone here in your energy that you cannot trust. For some of you guys, it has to do so it's it has to do with something with your finances. It's like I'm I'm getting someone that may want to borrow some money from you. And I feel like this person could be lying to you about their intent or their reasoning. Someone that is forcing, it's like a forceful energy. Hmm. But nonetheless, I feel like, I feel like, I feel some of you guys, you may be surrendering to this. Like you may just be giving it to them and just having faith that all will be well, that God will work everything out. For some of you guys, you're going to be giving in because you don't want to lose this person. But you're already struggling. You're already in a financial pinch. And you know that this person does not mean well. This person is lying to you. There's some type of deceit, manipulation, trickery around this person. 
but you're still having you're putting your faith in God and your angels and your ancestors that they're going to they're going to see you through this while you're allowing this person to put you through this Hmm, that message is meant for someone, not everyone. But your faith is definitely, I, I, I feel like you have faith. Some of you guys, you have faith in someone that you can't trust. Some of you guys, you know that someone, you instinct, instinctively know that someone is stealing from you. Some of you guys are actually putting yourself in some type of financial strain to keep up with the Joneses, to keep up some type of per perception, to make people, to continue to make people think that you're, you got it like that when you really don't, but it's causing a lot of, it's causing you a lot of grief. But still, I, I still, I feel you, you're maintaining your faith that nonetheless, all will work itself out. Why? Because in the past, all has worked itself out even when you've been backed into this corner, even when you've been backed into this corner, because you've been here before. For some of you guys, this financial sh constraint has been going on since the since May. Something happened in the month of May, and it caused you a fine a grave financial depletion, financial loss, financial strain. But you're going to be happy because you're there is going to be some type of some type of offer made a new job a raise you're going to get help and it's all about your faith like you know the thing about it is your faith is so strong that you know that all will be well even through this even through the grief that's happening you still know all will be well show me what's going on with Virgo Seven of Swords, lies, deceit, death, ending, Scorpio energy, Six of Cups, Justice, Libra, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. This is all about your finances here. The Magician. Manifestations. Four of Swords. Healing. King of Wands. Hmm. You got a lot of people in your energy here. You got a lot of people here in your energy which you do not see. Hmm, we're going to get into that. All right. So we have the seven of swords here. That's air energy. We have death, Scorpio energy. That's a transformation. That is an ending, an ending to lies and deceit. With someone that's a soulmate, this was a soulmate connection. Somebody that you may have lived past lives with. Hmm. There's definitely an ending and a new beginning. There's an ending and a new beginning here. You're, you're definitely manifesting a, some type of financial relief. I see you manifesting some type of financial relief. For some of you guys, you have a soulmate. This person is coming back towards you. It could be a Scorpio. This person is walking away from something that brings them a lot of pain present moment there's some lies some deceit and some manipulation wherever this person is at there is trickery wherever this person is at this person is ending something and this person is coming back towards you 
this is someone from your past this is a soulmate this person wants justice with you this person wants to put in the work this is someone that left you out in the cold and this person has been manifesting the healing of this connection they have this person has undergone some type of grief some type of manipulation and they're coming towards you because they want not only are they struggling they're struggling internally and externally but i'm getting here in this energy is like a forceful someone forcing their way back into your life hmm We're going to get that. We're going to get into this. But what you don't see coming is you have someone coming towards you and they want to give an equal give and take. They have an offer for you. This is someone that you you may have let go of. Because this person was controlling They had a big ego. They were in and out of your life. You could have been dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius strong Aries here. Or Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person could have lacked some type of consistency. But this person wants to come towards you. And this person is actually coming towards you quite quickly. You actually have two different individuals. Some of you guys, you have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that's coming towards you. To, because they want to give to you. They want to give to you. I feel like... Hmm. I can read this totally different as well because you can actually be this king of wands someone here that is a boss someone here that people look up to you can be an authority figure and you're letting go of past pains past deceits and you're offering your cup to someone here someone that you're hoping that you can have an equal give and take but for somebody here you're offering your cup to two different individuals you are but you still have someone here that can't let go and they're trying to be patient you have a king of pentacles here this person is going to have a hard time letting you go. You have a few different people here in your energy. This is what you don't see coming. This is what it is that you don't see coming because you're so focused on your finances. You're so focused on healing, upping your game, getting your shit together. You're not even seeing these people in your energy. Mm -mm. You're going to be indecisive. You're going to be trying to figure this out. And at the same time, there's someone here that's going to be trying to return from your past. You're going to have to make a decision between two or three different individuals and you don't see this coming. You don't see this coming at all, but you're going to have to make a decision between two or three different individuals. And it all starts. It all starts once you once you have undergone some type of healing. Mm -hmm. but it's a healing of your finances it's a healing of your heart it's mending mending things that have been broken you definitely have a soulmate that's coming towards you hmm. this person could have caused you some, some type of financial hardship this person could have lied and cheated and you ended things with this person but this person is coming back towards you because they do want to put in the work and they do want justice in this situation there was a lot of grief, a lot of grief surrounding this connection. Show me the seven of swords. We have the queen of wands with the nine of pentacles. And they both came out in the reverse. Someone that lacks confidence, stability. Hmm. I get this is your energy. I get this was your energy. I'm saying it's your energy, yes. But I feel like this is where you were. When this happened, when when you found out about the lies, the deceit, the trickery, when you underwent all that, I feel like you lost confidence. You lost confidence in yourself. There was an, an imbalance in your stability. 
I feel like you became single all of a sudden and you you didn't know wh- what you were going to do. This ending happened and I feel like it happened so abruptly. Show me this death. Whoa. Five of wands. With the seven of cups, somebody had options, somebody had choices. Somebody chose somebody else over you. And this person wanted you to compete or you were in competition for somebody's attention. And it ended. It ended because I feel like you didn't want to compete. You chose that you weren't going to compete for somebody that was supposed to be yours to begin with. Or somebody that you felt like just didn't deserve it. So there was an ending here. You felt like you were an option. You felt like there was a lot of conflict. You felt like you weren't going to defend something that you weren't like you just didn't feel like you should have to we have the six of cups show me whoa three of wands with the empress hmm i feel like this is a soulmate connection something that was nurturing something that you were nurturing Something that you were nurturing, something that you were trying, it's like you were waiting for this. It's, I feel like for somebody here, you've been waiting for someone to come back towards you to offer you a new beginning. You, I feel like for some of you guys, you ended something with someone that you've actually been waiting for this person. You've been waiting for this person to return to you, for this person to want to invest into this connection, for something new to occur. Hmm. Yeah. Show me justice. The Hierophant. Marriage. Commitments with strength. Somebody wants somebody wants justice. Somebody's trying to find strength. Somebody's trying to fight. Somebody's somebody's coming in to fight for fight for a commitment. Fight for a connect, connection. Somebody wants justice. Somebody's coming in to defend what it is that they want. It could be a Libra, Taurus, or Leo, or somebody that embodies that energy. Show me. Hmm. Eight of Wands. But they're trying to they're trying to find their strength. But they I feel like there's some type of blockage here. The Emperor. This is a divine counterpart. This is a divine counterpart. But this person's ego is getting the best of them. This person's ego has gotten the best of them. Hmm. I feel like the blockage is this person's ego. Show me this seven of pentacles. Oops, card down. The hermit. This is you, Virgo energy. Focused on your, your work and your money. The world. Manifest, manifesting a new beginning you're manifesting a new life for yourself you're creating a new life for yourself that's where your main focus is at your main focus is all about manifesting a new life for yourself working on things that need to be worked on two of cups you want love you want that soulmate connection there is love though there's love between you and someone else, someone someone that you may have let go of or someone that you should have let go of. Four of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody that you can't let go of or somebody that can't let you go. Who is this person? Eight of Cups. Somebody that left, somebody that moved on, somebody that you left. Who is this person? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, somebody that was trying to fight for this. Somebody that is going to fight for this. Who's this person? Five of Cups, somebody that's sad. Somebody that has regrets. 
Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, somebody that's younger, somebody that was immature. This is someone, this could be a water sign, somebody, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you're going to be getting some type. There's something this person wants to communicate with you, but this, there's a blockage. This person's ego is the blockage. I feel like this person cannot let you go. This person could be a little bit younger than you. This person is sad and this person has a lot of regrets and they cannot let you go. They cannot. They've been fighting it. Like they've really and truly, this person really and truly tried to move on from you. Show me this five of pentacles. The chariot. Cancer energy. This is someone from your past that wants to return to you. Show me the chariot. Because they want commitment. They want stability. They want to build on this foundation. They want to live with you. They want marriage. Mm -hmm. This person has regrets. And this person's not sure that you're going to welcome them back in. But they've been manifesting. Show me the magician. Ten of wands. I feel like living without you is burdensome for this person. We have the moon. And the will of fortune. This is destined with the magician here. This is your karmic twin flame. This is a soulmate. This is going to be. This is going to come together. You're both hiding your emotions and your feelings from each other. From what I'm seeing here, Cancer energy. Show me the moon. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. I feel like you're someone's hiding. Yeah, you're destined to be with this person. For some of you guys, this could be a um, another Earth sign. It's destined for you and this person. This person, I feel like this person is hiding their emotions from you. I feel like they feel like this relationship, this connection, even though it's it's destined, you they feel like you're their soulmate, even though it's that de you're destined to be together. This person feels like you're their soulmate. This person has been manifesting you. There's something here about this connection that is burdensome to this person. I feel like it's their emotions. The high priestess, there's secrets surrounding you and this person. It's like unknown feelings, unknown emotions. There's fear here. Ten of Swords. There's fear that somebody's going to hurt someone here. So this person feels is scared that you're going to actually hurt them. This is some. This is a totally different energy, but this person is scared that you're going to actually hurt them. Show me this Four of Swords. That's the Tower. That's what you don't see coming. Somebody wants to heal this with you. That's Scorpio energy. The star. That's their wish. That's their that's their deepest wish, their deepest desire. The devil. They're obsessing over this Capricorn energy. This person is obsessed with you. They are. Six of Pentacles. They want to come in and they want to give you an equal give, an equal give and take because this person can't live without you. This person doesn't want to live without you. And it's causing them eight of swords. Yeah, it's like an internal prison. This person, their ego has gotten the best of them. Bottom of the deck, judgment in the reverse, Scorpio energy. This person wants a second chance. And their ego has gotten the best of them. There's been a lot of grief around this person. This person has a lot of regrets. But this person still is maintaining that faith, maintaining that there is going to be a reconciliation. This person still feels there is that there's going to be a coming together between you and them. And what I see for you, Virgo, is that you're focused on your stability. You're fo focused, focused on your work and on your money, on your foundation. I, I don't feel like you are really and truly worrying about anyone but your stability, but your foundation. But your money, your work. Some of you guys, you have been undergoing some type of financial financial pinch. But I also see for some of you guys, you have been giving to someone even though you know this person has been manipulative, lying. You know that you instinctively know that this person is does not mean well. But still you're giving to this person. Why? For some of you guys, it's because you don't want this person to leave you alone. For some of you guys, you want, you're hoping that this person is going to change, transform in some type of way, shape, or form. And they may choose to choose you, is what I'm getting here in this energy. 
but you're i feel like for some of you guys you're undergoing this because yeah you have faith you have faith why because divinely everything has worked itself out for you in the past but i definitely feel like you're feeling the you're feeling the pinch right now you are and for some of you guys you instinctively know that somebody in your energy does not mean you well but you're willing to put up with it what i'm getting here in this energy for some of you guys your financial issues started in the month of may but i do see that for some of you guys before this year is over you're going to be happy before this year is over because you're going for some of you guys you're going to be getting a new job or you're going to be getting some type of raise or some type of bonus okay guys this is what i have for you guys let me know in the comments if this message resonates with you. Hit that like button if this message resonates with you. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, love every last one of you. Bye, guys.